Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salam Ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'dik Ahabbita fillah Curing The heart Is something In which all of us Are looking for Or the cure For our hearts is something that we're all looking for. We're all looking for the means to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how we can cure the various diseases, spiritual diseases of having desires excessive desires for the muharramat, for that which displeases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And likewise, the other spiritual diseases of envy, jealousy, hatred, uh, the anguish and the anxiety, all of those things, those various spiritual diseases that we need to have cured. A man complained to Hassan al-Basri, rahimahullah ta'ala, Regarding his hard heart, he said to him, make it soft by remembering Allah, by remembering Allah the Exalted. Ahabatifillah, we have to strive to follow the minhaj of the Salaf, the methodology of the Salaf Salih. And they're part of their minhaj. That means this was whole scale, whole, whole scale. That they strove to come closer to Allah and worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ala ilm wa fiqh wa basira. And they strove their utmost for the spiritual cures. To remove sickness. And that's why when the man complained to Hassan al-Basri. Rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatin wasiya. Regarding a hard heart, a heart that's not receptive to the Quran, a heart that's not receptive to doing good, a heart that's that's obstinate and rebellious, Hassan al Basri, Rahimullah Taala said, make it soft by remembering Allah the Exalted. So, showing us the importance of making adhkar, all adhkar, whenever and as much as possible, and. Some, the best dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is of course the Qur'an. So don't forget to incorporate the Qur'an in this spiritual journey to Allah Azza wa Jal. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.